Heather Korlak. I'm an expressive arts therapist and a teacher, and I'm the leader of this art group for Cerebral Palsy BC. Class is about expression, um, artistic choice, creativity, and even if outwardly um, the artist may be weaker with muscles or possibly not used to painting or drawing, I usually give them beautiful quality materials and encourage them to just experiment and play and express themselves. We used um, acrylic paint, um, watercolor paint, pastels. I actually asked them some things that they wanted to try to use, so we tried clay. And they were a little afraid maybe because they hadn't tried it before, but once they actually felt the clay and moved it and manipulated it, it was, um, I thought, pretty successful and enjoyable to try something new. Like we listen to music and it kind of becomes a part of the atmosphere and then we do art at the same time so it's kind of the two mediums work together. Well it's all about kind of relaxing and I think music has that ability to relax and connect your emotions on a different level. I would invite every artist to come. Um, there's always room for more. It's a safe place to express yourself, to be creative, to play with art materials perhaps you haven't played with since school. Um, I would just encourage this. I think it's so important that we express ourselves creatively.